Welcome back and happy Wednesday. We have a look right now at your current temperatures outside. We are close to the 60s across those interiors and right around the 50s and 60s as you make your cl way closer to some of those coastal valleys and out along the coast. But here's what we can expect as we continue through this morning and into this afternoon, quickly warming up across your inland valleys once again. So we have those triple digit temperatures on tap by the afternoon and you can see even by 11 a.m. We're expecting 80s and 90s across some of your deeper inland valleys, but we're also seeing some 80s develop over Santa Inez and reaching those mid 70s by that hour for Santa Barbara. Same thing will go for San Luis Obispo and and Santa Maria. In terms of the clearing pattern and what you can expect for today, we still have that weaker onshore flow, so we're going to continue to have some of that sunshine out along the coastline. Later tonight, we're expecting the return of that fog in the marine layer. It will linger through the overnight hours, strengthen a little bit, and we'll have that similar pattern continuing for the morning commute, where we have some of that mid to high level cloud cover that will mix out by the afternoon. Here's a look at your wind forecast. Really not too bad, but we will have a bit of a steady breeze picking up heading into your afternoon across some of these valley locations. Definitely for your interiors over areas like Shandon, California Valley, Paso Robles, we're staying right around that 10 to 20 mile per hour range. That's going to be the case for some of your coastal valleys too, even for Santa Maria and San Luis Obispo. But the South Coast region, I will say, will be our main concern. That's definitely where we're going to have most of the activity for today. And it's why we do have another wind advisory issued. So this is going into effect at 3 o'clock this afternoon covers the same area as yesterday. It's set to expire at 3 a.m. tomorrow. So we're continuing to have some sundowners back in the forecast. Generally, that does warm temperatures up over your south coast region, so you can expect another warm day there. Wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour. Expect them to be the strongest from Gaviota to San Marcos Pass. And we have a heat advisory in place, actually, for the interiors into those mountains and foothills for Santa Barbara County. And it's because, again, these temperatures are going to be reaching around 100 degrees. As high pressure con continues to strengthen today, we'll have probably the warmest day of the week on this Wednesday, and then things are going to change a little bit because the high pressure is going to make a shift to the southeast, and then we'll have some low pressure swing in over the area bringing temperatures down by about five to eight degrees. So here's a look at the next three days. You can see we're pretty consistent through Friday out along the coast, and then it's by Saturday we start to see a trend down. This is going to be the case for your coastal valleys and your inland valleys. So you do get a little bit of relief from the heat. We kind of just have to wait a couple of days before we get into the weekend where we start to feel it. So mid 70s for Santa Maria, upper 60s today for Lompoc, your Santana's Valley from the 80s and 90s. Plenty of triple digits across the inland valleys, but back towards the coast, we're gonna be right around those low to mid 70s for the five cities region and actually along the north coast some cooler temperatures expected to develop once again just shy of 60 degrees for Cayucas but pretty close to 80 degrees for San Simeon today back to you all right thanks for the